I'm Sophia. <laughs> Sorry. What? Wait, do I look at the camera? Not too bad. I'm a conceptual fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm a freelance conceptual portrait photographer. My name is Kevin. I'm a freelance makeup artist. I'm Lynn. I'm a freelance designer. I'm Sophia. I'm a freelance videographer and editor. My name is Vince. I'm your local Chingyan videographer. My name is Riz. I am a filmmaker here in Kuala Lumpur. And today is the Halloween special. <laughs> I usually tend to base these on like how much my butthole clenches. And that was a very minimal like one. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's okay. Once, I'll just resend it again. It depends on my mood. What the fuck? Just like check your <laughs> For the second time, oh I still haven't received it, then I'll be very pissed. I'll be like, can you check your spam? Inbox, can you check this? Is your email right? I just send it again. I would just send it again. So it won't be a big deal for me. I don't dig that. It's very irritating, but I do understand the dynamics of it. Can I can give a discount? Let's sign this contract for a discounted rate for this many projects by end of this year. Giving a discount so that you get the next job is something that I might do just so that I don't die next month, you know? Depends on the client also. If you don't have the project until the end of the year, then at the end of the year, 31st December, you still have to pay that total amount. If you say you want to give more projects in the future, you better make sure that that person is going to get more projects in the future. Oh my god, uh, ugh. Fuck, have you seen my portfolio? Sorry, this person can do it for cheaper. I'm gonna go for them and like... <laughs> Whatever I charge, sometimes it's like maybe just borderline where it starts. Then why do you think we're having this conversation? Stupid, you know? I find it very, very frustrating. If they pay cheap, then I do cheap work lah. <laughs> then go hire them. If you respect an artist and you respect a creative, you will pay them what they're worth. That's like a massive butthole clench because like <laughs> He give me money, he want me to do video but don't know what video I hate it like If I do it that way, would you like it? Give them options that you definitely know that they won't like It doesn't actually mean whatever you want because I usually do what I want and then they'll come back to me and be like Oh yeah, that's not really what we wanted No, I'll just be like, okay, what do you do for fun? <laughs> and then like we sit down together and figure out what to do Yeah, that's actually not a bad statement like which means they trust me and what I do if they say, yeah, okay, up to you. If you think that's best, then I'll, I'll be more than happy to do it. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Why? Why won't you credit us? Like, what is the reason? Well, even though you have paid the freelancer, like, you know, you should still credit everyone who is a part of the job. That is actually understandable. Why do, do they need to credit you if they're getting paid? But I want permission to post it on my website. Oh, yeah, that, that is yeah, for Use for our own portfolios. Portfolio, yeah. Yes. Can I use it to sell to my new clients? Only after one year. Oh, fuck. Why did you put that dynamic inside? Uh. I'm, being, I'm not being biased, you know. You don't see like big brands always saying who designed their work, right? Because that they get paid a huge amount for it, so... But in films, everybody gets paid, but they also get credits at the end. How does that work? But do people watch the credits? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, uh, they already see that directed by, yeah, guested exactly. by, and then bye-bye. They will just say that, oh, it's because of this, and this reason, and this reason. So that one's kind of a difficult one. It's, it's very blunt. If people ask, please be honest with them and tell it's from us. That's the best a human can do to another human. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let him cool down first. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. I have bills to pay. Exposure is not going to get us anywhere. Do you really need an answer for that? I mean, not to say that is your responsibility, you know. But I'm just saying that that what I do as a job, you know, it's to support my life. I don't want to be famous. I just want to make money and live my own life. Usually if I do, it wouldn't be for the exposure. Especially if it's a big-ass company. 
pay a damn freelancers, pay a damn creatives. How is that fair when we do this for a living and you are also using our design for your living? If they get paid for it and you're not getting paid for it, like what the f At least give me like a free shirt or something. Please? <laughs> if you live on your own, you pay your own bills, you cook your own food, then you will see that there's a very different game to play. That's why you see a lot of youngsters becoming influencers because they have that, they have that time to do so. But up at a certain point, you don't care about this exposure, you don't care about this fame, you just care about, can I put food on the table? Can I survive for the next few years? That's it. Understand that the creative industry needs your support. To acknowledge your talents, your freelancers, you know. We, in creatives especially, you know, support the local industry. Pay the freelancers, yes, that's the main point. You will be treated with respect if you treat your freelancers and your creators with respect. Whatever you pay for is kind of what you would get. Let's just say design in a food basis so if you pay more then you get more premium ingredients but then if you pay less you kind of get less premium ingredients yeah designer probably use canva you don't know <laughs> your money goes into oh, all of this like our producing investments. better quality so if you pay more then better lah your quality so you pay more lah uh, like that lah <laughs> very malay ah. <laughs> always know that we are humans as well we need to get bills paid. So even though it says freelancers, we're not free. Brands, you don't pay your creatives. Creatives can't eat, creatives can't eat. They stop being a creative, they stop being a creative. Then they will go back to work and then you will lose out on creatives in the market. And then Malaysia will just be another boring country. And we don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs>